So this is going to be a quick video that's just going to help our workflow when we're using Postman, because right now to access a protected route, we have to log in and come down and manually copy the token, come over here to a protected route, add authorization in the header and set bearer and then that token. Well, we can make this a lot easier on ourselves so we can actually get rid of this totally. So we don't have to manually pass the header value. And if we go over to login, we can make it so that when we log in, we put the token inside of a, an environment variable. So what we'll do is go over here. This is the login tab. I'm going to go to tests and I'm going to say PM. So postman dot environment. And I want to set a variable. So I'm going to say set variable called token and I want to set it to postman dot response dot Jason. So that gives us our whole response, but I just want the token. So dot token. So what this does is if we get token from the response, it's going to put it into uh, an environment variable. So I'm going to go ahead and just save this and then I'm going to log in again. So I'll use in my body here. Let's log in as John and send. So we get back our response down here. But if we take a look up here, we should have a variable called token and it has that token in it. Now to use that token on a protected route, all we have to do is go to authorization and choose bearer token and it might it, it should already be filled with the token variable. If it's not, just go ahead and add in, you know, double uh, double curly brace token. And if I send it works, if I send if I do no auth, then I'm going to get a not authorized not token. So any protected route, you just want to choose bearer token and it will automatically use whatever is in that environment variable. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. So we'll add that same test here to uh, to our registration when we do that. And that's what we want to work on next is actually registering a user.